Acquiring a high-performance computing machine at Purdue has been a wonderful opportunity to actually do that by pooling faculty resources and together acquire a machine that actually performs very highly compared to uh, other machines on, on uh, other campuses. The whole point of cluster computing is that instead of 10 people buying a 100 node machine, that the 10 come together and buy an 1,000 node machine. And with the abilities to leverage you know, pricing and vendors and so on, you could probably buy 1,200 nodes for that same money. So everybody wins. If they were able to negotiate a much better price for the processors because they were purchasing so many, much better price than I could have if I were just buying a stack of computers to put in my lab. It was the first time that more than like a handful of people from, from campus uh, contributed money to, a, to a, a common purchase. So we will see if this model really scales and it will be hopefully the model for the future. We wanted to see if we could use a large number of somewhat skilled but by no means specialized people to basically unbox and build and install and then create this machine. We thought we could do it in a day. Turns out we were done before lunchtime. So it was a a regular old barn raising at the end of the day. ITAP completely took care of the purchasing, the negotiation with vendors, the installation. They completely maintain the cluster. So my graduate students can be doing what they and what I want them to be doing, which is research. In the time when you really need it, you can get what you paid for and possibly more when available. And when you don't need it, you share it with others. So they can benefit from the community investment. And again, having the, uh, a local machine that is of significant size uh, allows us to benchmark and test and run before we go into a national resource like uh, the TerraGrid or the Track2 national compute resources. It was actually in our financial interest to buy and replace the older equipment with the new equipment because we'd save that investment just in our electricity costs. And that's becoming a new measure of uh, return on investment, if you wish. And it's also based on the fact that most machines, most computers, don't run most of the time. In fact, if CPUs run 15% of the time, that's quite busy. So there's clearly room to share resources between people. Research projects happen that uh, engage in high-performance computing. ITAP is, its maybe primary mission is to, to operate the machines and I think this collaboration is very important and I think the purchase of the steel cluster is one example of how this collaboration has actually worked out very well.